Hi, John from Accio here, and I'm going to show you the future of working with data. It's built on the latest version of GPT, and it makes cleaning, preparing, and transforming your data, and then evaluating and exploring it an order of magnitude faster and easier than it's ever been before. So let's get started. There's two main features here that we're going to demonstrate. The first is preparing your data or cleaning it up with a chat natural language interface. Um, here we have a data set of house prices um, from the Washington state area. We have the details and information about each one of the homes, their address, and the price for which they were sold. I believe this is just scraped from the MLS. So let's say we wanted to clean up the outliers in the square footage lot section because there's some of these homes in here that have really large tracts of land associated with them. Um, and that could be uh, causing some noise when we're evaluating uh, the relationship between home features and price. We can do that really easy with natural language, remove the outliers from square footage lot. And I've even spelled outliers incorrectly here. Um, we will take that ask, uh, we will parse it using GPT, and we will automatically generate the code to operate on the table to make that transformation. And we'll also tell you how we interpreted it and give you a preview of the change. So you can see here, we're removing the outliers from the square foot lot column by calculating the z-score and removing any uh, that are three standard deviations or more away from the mean, which would take away about 1.7% of the previewed rows. With this type of chat-based interface, it's incredibly fast and easy to transform your data and to do all the work you need to do on prep. You can do anything from math, calculating, um, you can do uh, easy joins, text extraction, date reformatting, um, pretty much limitless in terms of the ways that you can quickly and easily transform your data set way faster than you could ever do it before. Okay, but let's say we just wanna take a look and understand what's going on in the data itself. That's where we get to the chat explore feature. And here we can just ask questions of the data set and it will tell us back the answers or create visualizations for us on the fly. So let's start by asking for three interesting insights from the data. Show me top three interesting insights in this data set. And that's a reasonably simple ask and let's see what we get back. The three most interesting insights are the most expensive house is 7.7 .7 million, average number of bedrooms is 3.37, bathrooms 2.12, and the majority of houses are not on the waterfront, only 163 of them actually have a waterfront view. Okay, those are some interesting insights, but let's look at some visual explorations of the data. So we could say, show me the relationship between price and square footage. And we'll use the GPT backend to understand that you're looking for a relational graph and automatically create a scatter plot of price versus square footage. And here you go. Now, if we like this chart, we can either download it and use it in a presentation, or we can just click save to charts and it'll show up over here in the reports where we can look at all of the different pieces of information or visual explorations that we've created. Let's look at some more things we can do. Let's just look at the Seattle area. Again, spelling it incorrectly, we're robust to messy spelling errors. Um, and now we've got the uh, price per square footage in Seattle very easily. Um, and we can just add that one to charts as well. And here you can see the comparison between uh, the overall price per square footage and the Seattle area, and they look reasonably similar. We can also create all different types of charts. So show me um, unit, sales by city. Now we have a uh, bar chart of unit sales by city, but it's kind of hard to read because there's a lot of cities in there. So just the top five. There we go, we've got the top five unit sales by city. Um, and you know we can even uh, ask it to make that a pie chart. And you can see that there were 1,561 sales in Seattle. So that's how easy it is to now interact with and work with data, clean, prepare, explore, and 
actually save those explorations into a report that you can share with everybody so that it's uh, very easy for everyone to get on the same page with what's going on in their data. It's an open feature on Accio's platform. You can sign up for an account and try it today. Thanks very much.